Hello everyone, this is Nabulia Joslin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So this was a review paper and we're summarizing it. It's, it was based on the design and implementation of an SQL parser based on the ANTLR, which is another tool for language recognition. So the background, the background is that this, another tool for language recognition is a language tool that provides a framework for constructing recognizers, compilers, and translators for grammatical description. This, another tool for language recognition, there it's a program and determines the sentence. It determines whether the sentence is conformed to a given language, like if it's R, C, Python, all those different programming languages. The SQL parser will be based on that, another tool for language recognition. And it will have all kinds of symbols and SQL statements according to the principle of lexical and syntax analysis. Then the problem that was being addressed, is this another tool for language recognition will provide excellent support for translation and provides automatic error recovery and reporting. It also generates a program that determines whether sentences belong to a given language, like I earlier said, Python, R, C, and other programming languages. It, it can translate the input SQL query into a standard SQL statement. To output results, the SQL parser is coded in C++ so as to improve the efficiency of implementation. Then the methods that were used included the lexical syntax, the lexical and syntax analysis, as well as semantic checking. In lexical analysis, here when a query is entered by a user, it is scanned and a token stream in order, in order, and a token stream in order to syntax analysis. In the SQL parser, the expressions that are recognized by ANTLR are name, number, string, field. Let me first. Let me first see. They are the name, number, string, yeah. And then syntax analysis, it gives a context through grammar structure and determines whether syntax of an input query corresponds to the defined SQL grammar rule. The, gram the rules of the SQL grammar are, are defined using the NBF, and this was such as extended Bacchus neural form, which is used to make a formal description of a programming language. The semantic checking is done after syntax analysis by the SQL parser, and this is for the integrity and cor correctness of an input query. Then with the result, after the grammar document, this ANTLR generates a required lexa according to the grammar document. Codes are defined according to the three lexa rules of number, digit, and WS, WS which is the web socket. Another tool for language recognition generates parser according to the grammar rules file. And if an input query statement had not corresponded to this file, a syntax error would be generated by the parser. And then after succession of syntax analysis, semantic checking is done by the SQL parser to check for the correctness and integrity of an input query. If the input query had corresponded to the SQL grammar rules, its semantics would not necessarily be correct. So we need to verify the existence of the specified tables and columns. So those are the limitations and the future prospects that with the release of a better version and recent another tool for language recognition, the SQL parser will also be upgraded. The SQL, in conclusion, the SQL parser is implemented based on another tool and it is made of lexical analysis, sorry, syntax analysis and semantic checking as well. The SQL parser has successfully been applied in MIS and data 
query to be a common module and to integrate with NIST. Programmers can now avoid repetition in coding and improve the reliability and reusability of software. SQL grammar rules that are defined by the ABNF as earlier said and scalability that are enhanced by extending definition of these rules. Thank you very much.